I like sound, and so do you. Here's how to enable it on GNU slash Linux. Now, there's actually a couple of different ways that you could go about setting up your audio on a minimalist Linux distribution. Of course, if you're using Ubuntu, Linux Mint, then you probably had this done for you already by the GUI installer because those are the distros that just work. That's the beautiful thing about them. But if you're using Gentoo, Arch, Artix, etc., then you probably don't have sound right out of the box. There's probably a little bit of extra work that you got to do. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the least bloated way to go about setting up your sound. Because typically on a minimalist setup, you're going to want the least bloated option unless it's absolutely necessary for your workflow or whatever purpose your minimalist distro is going to serve. And that option is going to be to just use ELSA for our sound output. ELSA stands for the Advanced Linux Sound Architecture, and it's actually the foundation for sound on Linux. Any other type of sound option is going to have ELSA plus something else. But ELSA by itself should be sufficient for things like basic media consumption, listening to YouTube, music, movies, etc. Now there are certain applications like Steam, for example, which cannot interface directly with ELSA. They require another program to be used on top of ELSA. So this isn't really a different sound architecture per se, because like I said, this is gonna be built on top of ELSA and a lot of people consider it to be bloated, but that program is called Pulse Audio. So if you wanna play games on Steam, then you're going to want to set up Pulse Audio as well once you've gone ahead and followed these configuration steps for ELSA first. Now anyway, onto the ELSA config. So we're going to start with enabling the sound in our kernel for whatever specific sound device or devices, if you've got multiple sound cards, external sound cards, stuff like that. Um, now, if you're using the default Linux kernel, which is most likely gonna be the folks on Arch, Artix, uh, pretty much any of the binary distros, although I think it is possible to use uh, your own kernels with them as well but you probably have those options enabled already. So unless you're on Gentoo or you rolled your own kernel, if you did that, you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to the options that I'm gonna show you how to enable. So first, like I said, you need to enable the specific drivers for your audio device. So it would help first to know what those actually are. So on your command line, you want to go ahead and do LSPCI and then pipe that into grep and we're looking for the string audio. So right here, this is going to tell you what your audio controller is. So on my system, it's the Intel Corporation, blah, 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 AC97. If you're on VirtualBox, this is probably gonna be what yours is as well because this is a Gen 2 VM. So there you go. Uh, don't even have to run that command if you're on VirtualBox. So now let's go ahead and become root and then go into our directory and make menu config. All right, and I know that this is a slightly older kernel, but most of the options should still be familiar and pretty much in all the same places. So we want to go into device drivers. And then we want to look for sound card support. I think it's towards the bottom. Yep, there we go. And then go into the advanced Linux sound architecture. So that's ELSA. Then we want to go into PCI sound devices. So now go ahead and select your audio device. So here you go. Um, it's probably going to be this if you're doing an Intel, NVIDIA, or AMD. Most of the other uh, devices in here are external sound cards or add-on sound cards. So if you've got 
pretty much any computer, like unless you built your own computer and you purposefully put a sound card or you purposefully put an external sound card, it's probably gonna be one of these two as far as what your actual device is. So go ahead and enable that. And then you wanna back out of there and then go into HD audio. And you want to build the Realtek HD audio codec support. And you want to also go ahead and build the Silicon Labs uh, 3054 codec support. And then if you do have multiple sound outputs in your system, and by the way, as far as sound outputs are considered, so that's going to be literally any port that you can have sound coming out of. So if you have uh, analog ports, that's a sound output. If you have an HDMI that's on your motherboard, that's going to be a sound output since HDMI does sound. And then every single HDMI port that's on all of your graphics cards or graphics card if you just have one, those are all going to be sound outputs. Now, by default, Linux, the Linux kernel has support for, I think it's up to eight graphics cards. Um, so if you have more than that, like after you've gone through and basically counted up however many that you have and you have more, and if you notice that certain sound outputs aren't working, like if you plug in an HDMI and you're not actually getting sound out of it, then you're going to want to force your kernel to be able to use more sound cards than that. And the way that you do that is you want to tick this option up here, dynamic device file minor numbers. And then you can change this number to be whatever um, the max number of sound cards is. And like I said, in this case, it counts each individual sound output as a sound card. So you can just change this to be uh, whatever value you need. But on mine, eight is more than enough. So I don't actually have that option built in. So once you have those options enabled, go ahead and of course, save your kernel. No changes made since I didn't change anything. And then you want to make, uh, and then use whichever make ops is compatible with your CPU. So if you've got a quad core, do a J4. Um, if you've got a quad core with hyperthreading, you can do a J8. Uh, make and make modules install and make install. So you can go ahead and do all of that. And then when you're done, you wanna go ahead and also emerge Elsa, of course, go ahead and install that application. Or if you're on Arch Linux, uh, install it with Pac-Man. And this should go without saying for the folks that are on Gen 2, but you can't have the Elsa use flag excluded in any of your packages that you want to work with Elsa to have sound in it. And you certainly don't want to exclude it in your make.conf unless for whatever reason you just don't want to have sound on your system, in which case this video is obviously not for you, but I appreciate you watching it anyway. And it's also a good idea to do a deep world emerge with change use if you've already installed a lot of packages to your system. This way they can all be reinstalled with the sound support that you need. So once that is all said and done, you can go ahead and test the sound on your speakers or through your headphones or whatever. And you could do this at the command line if you don't have any music or audio downloaded to your system already. You could do that with the command speaker test. And that's just gonna play a tone through the speakers. Uh, so that's one way to test it, but I prefer to test it with music since I do have an internet connection and I like some music. So let's listen to my guy here, uh, White Bat Audio. I don't actually know this guy, but he makes um, he makes really good music, right? It's like uh, copyright free stuff, synthwave music. If you've watched my Let's Plays, then you probably heard some music from him already. Oh, and also, as far as uh, changing your audio goes, like raising the volume, so you could do that from the command line as well. The command you want is Elsa Mixer. So right here on the master, you can see which one I'm on with um, the one that's highlighted in red. Let me see, can I make this bigger for you guys? 
Um, okay, there we go. So yeah, you can see I can go ahead and raise the volume. Lower it. So yeah, that's how you get sound working on a minimalist Linux distribution in a non-bloated way. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and share it with anyone else you think would find it useful.